one word that came to me besides reawakening when it came to this conference was allowing daughters to find community and to see themselves in others. I want you to sit for a moment and I'm gonna ask my husband to join me for a moment. I wanna be so intentional in this moment. I want you to continue to have your heart in a posture of worship. I would love for you to close your eyes in this moment. And if you could just feel the Father wrap his arms around you. If you know me long enough, you know I call him Daddy. And there's nothing like a hug from Daddy. There's nothing like a warm embrace. But we're going to call out a few things tonight. And I asked Pastor Heston to help me so I don't lose my breath tonight. But I want you to keep your eyes closed. And if anything we say applies to you tonight, while your eyes remain closed, I just want you to stand. So if you've ever poured out so much of yourself that you feel there's nothing left for you, would you stand? If you've ever felt your voice was silence, your choices taken from you, or your dignity stripped away by someone you trusted, would you stand? If you're balancing family, work, and your personal needs, and sometimes feel like you're not enough in any of those areas, would you stand? If you've ever experienced a violation of your boundaries, physically, emotionally, or mentally, and you've carried those wounds in silence, would you stand? If you've ever faced fear or shame because of something you've just been done to you, something you had no control over, and it left you feeling powerless, would you stand? If you've ever felt isolated in your struggles feeling that you should have it all together while silently you are falling apart would you stand if you're constantly giving support to others be it as a mother a sister a friend or a leader and feel like no one sees or supports you would you stand if you've ever struggled to find your worth or identity outside of the roles you fulfill, would you stand? If you've ever felt overwhelmed by the pressure of being everything to everyone, whether at work, in relationships, at home, or even at church, would you stand? If you've ever doubted whether God still sees you, whether God still hears you, whether God is still working on your behalf, would you stand? If you've ever wondered how you can keep pouring into others when you feel empty yourself, would you stand? If you ever faced rejection, criticism, or abuse that made you feel small, yet you are still here standing, <laughs> would you stand? Now I want you to take a moment and look around this room and see the strength that lies beside you and to realize you are not alone. Will you look at your sister in this moment? Will you embrace 
your sister in this moment? Will you speak life over your sister in this moment? Will you remind her that your pain may be similar to her pain, but she is not alone? Come on, daughters, I need you to encourage someone. I need you to love on someone. I need you to understand that we all have a battle that we may be dealing with, but we don't have to do it alone. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. Thank you, God. I want to come against the spirit of shame that covers the daughters in the house of God. You are not alone. You are not your pain. You are not your trauma. You are not your struggle. You are not alone. If you believe that, will you bless the Lord tonight? If you believe that he covers it all, will you bless him tonight? Thank you, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of walking into rooms and having my trauma lead me. I'm tired of walking into rooms that you see my pain before you see my joy. And I want you to declare on this wee awakening weekend that you are not alone. You will not walk in shame. You will not walk in depression, but you will believe in the God that you serve and you will believe that he can do what he said he will do. Come on, you gotta believe him. Come on, give him a praise of freedom. Come on, just take a moment to shout, shout unto the Lord. Say, I'm not the sum of my failures, but I am all that God says who I am. Come on, somebody lift up your voice in freedom. Say, I will no longer be shackled by an identity that God never gave unto me. I'm being reawakened today. I'm being a reawakened this evening. Come on, daughters, lift up your voice.
instruction that I didn't need you to come here cute because I believe that we were sent on assignment to deal with certain things. Now this is night one and I want to release you of certain things because I believe for the rest of the week and I need you to be reawakened. I need you to be free. But I need you to be honest with yourself in this moment and you need to begin to minister to yourself. Who do you believe you are? Who do you believe God has called you to be? Because I'm tired of the enemy coming into daughters and making them believe that they're less than, that they can't walk into their authority. Listen, I don't care who your daddy is. I don't care who your mama is. If God has called you, you have been called. And I need you to grasp that. I need you to believe that. I need you to understand that. So I want to take a moment. I told you, y'all don't understand. I don't need him. I don't care about red lips. I don't care about the weave in my head. I don't play when it comes to the enemy. So all that's got to go. They would tell you they try to put me in the outfit. And I said, I can't bend down. I can't minister to people. I can't pray for people. How's that going to work? So we didn't come here to play games tonight. I believe we came here to help somebody tonight. I believe we came here to someone needs to be delivered tonight. So I need you to take a moment. I need you to minister to yourself. I need you to talk to yourself and really declare, I am who he has called me to be. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am not my trauma. I am not my race. I am not my abuse. I am a daughter of the Most High God. So I want Minister Shaquana to go into that song again. And I want you to grab it like you believe it. I want you to minister it like you believe it. I want you to tell the enemy he messed with the wrong one tonight. I want you to tell the enemy he thought he had you, but he got it wrong. I want you to tell him, don't be fooled by the lashes, baby. Don't be fooled by the hills, baby. Because we came to declare war tonight. Can we bring that up? Because this is who I am. 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 This is who I
for this year's Fresh Oil Experience. Now, you don't want to miss 2025, so you go ahead and log on to thisisfreshoil.com for next year's tickets. Oh God, we praise your name.